Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, love. Hello, governor. None of this is correct. This is not YouTube. Oh. Hello, Twitch. Hello, Twitch. <laughs> Welcome. It's our last stream of the weekend, at least. Of the weekend. Of the holiday weekend. And um, we are no closer to solving this mystery. No, we than were when we began. We were talking about it, and the wolfwives and the staff <laughs> thought we were fucking insane. Yeah, you know, it's not like we were shouting. We were just um, yelling. I feel like in every like to, to, like gritty detective TV show, there's a scene where they're in like a shitty diner mm -hmm. and they're going over the case. It felt, it felt very that. We did a little bit of that. We didn't yeah. solve cheese. Usually I feel like that's when they're just like, someone will say something and they'll be like, I can't believe they always forget the cheese on my eggs. And the other one goes, the cheese on my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's the genius. And it's like, well, then the one runs out. He goes, are you going to get this? Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, hold on. Gotta get the cookies. No, oh, yeah. We're also finishing our cookies. I'm baking cookies. I'm very cute domestic if anyone's looking for a wife. Um, not me though. <laughs> um, yeah, so the cheese on the eggs. Yeah, it didn't help us. No. We didn't get eggs. We That's didn't get eggs. We should have got eggs. Right. We messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Still laughing at my joke. <laughs> Stupid. Also, we're having a little orange juice party. Yeah, a little OJ party. You fucking wish. You Plink. fucking wish you were us. <laughs> Yeah, all zero of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why did he leave? Come back, Andrew. He might need to refresh the fucking page. Probably. I mean, we can always start without viewers. Mm, I guess. I guess. I guess we can. They can catch up. All right, continue. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Click, click, boom. Just kind of touch on my technology. Yeah. Touch, touch, touch. <laughs> Okay, what is our task? We haven't done any of them. Oh! There's more. Checklist. If you click the checklist... You oh, is that like our former tasks? Or the... Yeah. I gotta get alibis for the arson. So I think we just... One of the one of the things is everybody... I just need their alibis for both of these crimes. So we mm -hmm. need to talk to everybody anyway. We need to investigate the break-in, and we need to get a key to the Hawthorne house. The Hathorn okay. house. So we need to talk to everybody anyway. Okay. So, so let's just do that. To everyone. I say we got hers. Let's talk to Tegan. Yes. Oh. oh. Texts. User has been. At Ooh. The famous Nancy Drew finally. Oh, it's it's Joe. <laughs> oh, we have a group chat now. Yay! <laughs> I love that we have group chats. We're in the fucking Hardy Boys group chat. I'm so <laughs> happy. Cool. Is he always like this? Oh my god. They're Joe so types cute. like a uh, zoomer. <laughs> They're just bullying him. Good. No. Aw. Oh, are they bowling Joe? Why does Joe think it's cute? <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, dude. dude. <laughs> okay, let's just go right over this real quick. User has been added to the chat. The famous Nancy Drew finally arrived to solve our ghostly conundrums. What? Dot, dot, dot is this mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out what could have caused you to see a ghost maybe, maybe an, an actual, actual ghost? ghost is he always like this like this only on good days hey i'm here you know we, we know. know we, we know. know aww so, so cute <laughs> <sighs> dude I, th oh, I think he's saying it's cute that we like talk, talk at the, the same, same time, time. Mm -hmm. and i just love that there's at least like one young person on the her interactive writing team that knew <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Dot H H H H. I'm gonna go follow some leads. Good luck. Let us know if you need anything. I like that this is cute. Like how we can have a group interactions chat. Yeah. that like, aren't necessarily about the game. There's like a little bit of character work as well. Yeah. 
And I like how they've done the Hardy Boys this time. Me too. I feel like we need to play like another Hardy Boys one in the like from. Um, I like Creature Capu Cave. So that I can compare mm-hmm. and contrast. Sorry, I'm looking in the chat to see who's here. Nobody. Cool. One person. The Salem Museum. Can't listen to these people's conversations. Guys. Heard the neighborhood watch launched their own investigation into the Perry girl. The cops are doing zip, not a. Thank goodness for that. Finally, people stepping up to the plate who aren't full of hot air. Don't worry. The truth will come to light now that the watch is on the job. Uh, it always does. Uh, uh, I don't like that. I don't. I, I've already said this, but anything neighborhood watch related, I'm like, bah, cringe. No. Yeah. Fucking cringe watch for my failed neighborhood. Oh God. What? Andrew might be watching it with Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that is embarrassing. Hey, Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta talk to Tegan and get Tegan's fucking alibi for all the things. Right. Nancy, hey, how's the investigation going? Pretty well. You know, it would really help if I could get May to talk to me. She hasn't given her alibi yet. No. And everyone seems to have one, except her. Everyone? Is it possible that it could be someone from outside of town? A visitor or something? Absolutely. But statistically speaking, crime is rarely a random occurrence. It's a mystery to me. You have anything you wanted to talk about? Okay, we've got a lot of fucking questions. Alright. Let's hear it. What's the history behind the Hathorn estate? Right. Well, uh, Judge John Hathorn was born and raised in Salem. His father was a decorated military man who had many real estate holdings throughout New England. And when Judge Hathorn became a justice, he tried to expand those holdings. Much of the land that the Hathorn estate was built on was actually seized property from accused witches. So awful. I think the land stealing part was even mentioned in Olivia's tour. I didn't expect her to actually care about the history. <laughs> At the time, no one made the connection. Not I, even in court documents. But it happened. I doubt nobody made the connection. What? Between, sorry. I'm Between, okay, sorry, Jamie's over there doing the cookies. <laughs> um, um, the Hathorn estate being made up on lands that were taken from the witches. Like, I'm like just because the court documents don't go, huh, that's kind of sus. Like, people definitely... I was going to say, that was, like, the first, at least, like, as a, you know, viewer, as we're learning the information, as Nancy's learning the information. We're, like, cringe. I was like, that, yes, we were, like, yeah. fails. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's cringe property from my <laughs> failed <laughs> trials. <laughs> we're going to make the same joke six different times, and guess yeah. what? It's going to be funny each yeah. time. But, like, the idea that just because an official government document didn't record it, like, that the layperson, the layperson wouldn't know about it. We can't rely, okay, here's, here's my soapbox. We can't rely on the documents of the ruling class to tell me how everybody felt. Right. I can't, you can't tell me what the government thought and and let me, I'm going to walk away thinking that's what every Tom, Dick, and Harry thought. Exactly. Like, poor people are not fucking brain dead I mean, as much as... Just because their thoughts might not be written down in an official court document. Yeah. And the court document's written by the person who stole the freaking land. Exactly. So... So, Biased document. Exactly. Like, you'd, like, the government's documents are going to be completely biased. Right. But anyway. So, sorry. So, what was she saying about... She was just saying nobody picked up on it. And I'm like, I doubt nobody picked up on it until later. Like, just because we're smart modern people doesn't mean we're smarter than... So people, anything, the past. people got collectively dumber. Yeah, so, I think we've gotten much dumber. So, okay, anyway. Yeah. Fun. Little soapbox Do moment. you think the fire is somehow related to Salem's history with witches? What do you mean? Like, is it meant as a symbolic gesture? Because that's how most witches died? That was a European thing. Mm. No, they were more civilized in the New World. We hung our witches. Short drops, so they slowly chipped to death. Couple more died in custody awaiting trial, and one, an elderly man who refused to testify, was pressed to death. Oh gosh! What happened? Um, hang on, I'll let her finish. They put a bunch of heavy stones on top of you over a period of days. That's horrible! She did not know the weight until she felt the freedom. Scarlet Letter. 
also a descendant of Judge Hathorne. Hmm. Except Nathaniel Hawthorne was so horrified with his family's history that he added a W to change it. Mmm. Wow. The focus on descendants isn't really something they teach you in school. Yep. We think our world is so much more advanced now. We have a hard time escaping our past. Okay, in summation. Um, Nancy asked if we thought the house was set on fire as a symbolic thing because that's how they killed witches. Tegan says that's not how they killed witches in America. In America, we hung them and some died in custody and one man was pressed to death. Oh my God. And the pressing took place like over the course of days where they would just add more stones to you. And also we learned that the Hawthorns are the descendants of the Hathorns and they changed it to Hawthorn because they were appalled by the half thorns. Oh, the so I'm valid in making this constant error. The Scarlet Letter was written by a descendant of the half thorns, according to uh, oh. to Tegan over here. I like Tegan. Addition. Yeah, I like all the like history bits. <laughs> yeah, that is one of my favorite parts of of these games, just in general. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for you to come back because you're you're almost done. Lots of cookies happening. Yes. <laughs> There's quite a few. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll be right back. Jamie's going to wash her hands. I'm not going to play the game without you. Okay, we'll just say things. No. Okay. Oh, hey, Andrew. Oh, Jamie's in the bathroom. She's washing her hands. She's back now. We're making cookies. Yeah. We're also solving mysteries. We're very multifaceted. Um, streamers. Blaine, if you're there, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Anyway, now we're getting alibis. Yes. Where were you on the night of the fire? I was at my boyfriend's watching a movie. Oh, we got a boyfriend? Here, Hello. This is his number. You can ask him. Have you been dating Damien for a long time? Yeah, a couple years, I think. I like him. I mean, I really do. He listens to me. Yeah, he's great. Weird. Kind of an odd. Was he with you the whole night? I mean, most of the night. I don't think he's capable of arson, if that's what you're suggesting. You trust him? Absolutely. 100%. Go ahead. Call him. You'll see. Okay, so we got, we do have a new character. Mm hmm That's fun. There was this photo tucked away in the guest room. Now I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> Such an awkward age. Is that Olivia and Lauren in the picture with you? Yeah, we were pretty tight back then. Had to take pictures. I couldn't tell where it was taken. Do you remember? The shed. There were lots of books and candles. I it was probably the... Uh, I don't know. All right, books dodgy. Books and candles are everywhere in Salem. It could be anywhere. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have a point. <laughs> it was years ago. I, I don't know. She she knows. We know where it is, and she knows where it is. We both know that it was the it was the the, the shed, shed the yeah. infamous shed. Sorry if you don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> How did Francis Tuttle come to own the property? Miss Tuttle bought it 30 years ago cheap. It was falling apart. The former owners couldn't be located, so it was auctioned. Couldn't be located. She was a bit of a kooky lady living in a ruin like that. She was kind. I mean, she took in Lauren like a daughter. Hmm. That says something about someone, doesn't it? Yeah. I like I her. agree. Yeah, Lauren definitely didn't kill Francis Tuttle because, I mean, the will's missing, so mm -hmm. she, she wouldn't even benefit from it in the first place if she can't find the will. Exactly. Do you remember what you were doing three nights ago? Three days ago? Well, I was probably working here. Why? You were working at the museum. Can anyone confirm that? Well, I'm always here. But was anyone else here? May was home all day, laying low, and Olivia wasn't here either. I don't know where she was, to be honest. You'll Olivia doesn't have an alibi. Okay. So no one can confirm that? And you're sure May was at home? She's barely left the house since the incident. People here treat her like she has an infectious disease. It's awful. And I don't blame her if she wants disease. to sit at home on her phone all day. Ugh. Her parents need to come home soon. I forgot they had parents. So, I got out. <laughs> Just straight up. What do you get out of this? What do I get out of this? I get a lot. Oh. Really? You try to 
travel around, talk to all these people, deal with all their problems, put yourself in harm's way? Yes. Not always. It's fun. <laughs> right, some of the time. Thanks, it's like, know. I love puzzles. It's like there's these small obstacles that I enjoy working on, and they're interesting. But what I really love is the puzzle of humanity. Told you. What makes people tick? Why do people do what they do? It's always the hardest one to crack, because sometimes we do things that don't make sense. We're inherently irrational. Know what I mean? You know, there's a theory about why these specific women were persecuted as witches. Some people believe that ergot, which is a fungus that grows in cereal grains, might have gotten into the food supply. Mm. It poisons anyone who eats it. Hallucination, circulation issues, seizures. It would have made people look like they were possessed. What's that or made the judges think they were doing God's will. Or make the whole town go haywire. Ergot? Ergot, yeah. A rational explanation for irrational behavior. Just a theory. We'll never know. Anyway, I don't want to keep you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I could have got... Yeah. That might come up. Can you tell me about the accident May was in when she was a kid? Why do you need to know that? How is it important? I didn't think it was, but everyone else sees reason to believe May is the one who burned Hathorn House. So that makes it important, I know. It started with the arson. She has other convictions on her juvenile record as well. Oh. What happened? It was an old shed near our home. May was about nine or so. She was in it one night. She shouldn't have been. Playing with... Candles. A lighter. I don't know. It caught fire. She was charged. Why was she charged so if it was their house? Responsible. She shouldn't even have been there. And I'm the older sister. It's not your fault. I'm sorry to upset you. It helps me to understand. Has she been changing her Just outfits from day to day? I think she might have been. That's another thing that I like. Because I was just thinking I like the sweater. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I felt like, I was like, I don't know if that's what she was wearing the first day. It might be, and we're just like a hallucination. And we're just an idiot. But we're just Talk one collective later. idiot. That's true. But I think Regardless. she might be changing her clothes. Um, can you tell me where I could put this pumpkin? Right. Do you want this? Give it to her. It doesn't All work. All right. I guess we're just stuck with this pumpkin. I want to make a scary one. Wait, do I have a pancake? I have a pancake with a witch's face on it. When did that happen? I don't fucking know. We were tired. I think it was when I accidentally made pancakes twice in a row. Right, and she was just like, Oh, look at my beautiful pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. I cannot figure out where to put it down. Oh, the gift shop's open. Oh. Not you. I don't care about you. Go away. <laughs> I want to just, I want to buy a cool outfit. That that way, that way. That 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 way. There. This. I was gonna say, I feel Why like can't I move? It's so weird the way that they have Yeah, the the navigation walking. is not excellent. It is less than excellent. Yes. Thank you. Stop. Oh, oh, this is so fun. Okay. Oh. Some candles. Pretty standard gift shop material. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, broomstick? fragrance is that wood hey here's the mm -hmm. the little motif this is faces that's little fake tvs cute i love it here oh look 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 oh coco kringles why can't i eat them oh this is where olivia is she's in the gift shop oh okay wonderful hang on i want to look around the gift shop before we talk to yeah, her dude. I'm gonna buy a witch outfit. Why can't I buy a witch outfit? This sucks. I hate this game. <laughs> hey there, girl. Can't tell if you're supposed to be cute or creepy. Girl, don't say that right in front of Olivia. She's gonna think you're talking about her. Right, I thought she was. It was this cat. Wait, cat. where does this door go? <laughs> oh. Why can't I eat the Coco Kringles? We have to buy them. Nancy's very lawful, remember? It's like a nah. stick. Alright, let's just talk. You're back! Great. Let me guess. More questions? You already know. Mm-hmm. Spooky how you could tell. <laughs> Though it harm none, do as thou wilt. Uh, okay. 
I'm saying I guess it can't do any harm. I've been going around asking everyone in town where they were on the night of the arson. The night of the what? Arson. At Hathorne House? Why, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Kidding, Nancy. Don't look so serious. <clears throat> I was here that night, doing my thing. I think there had to have been at least 20 people who can confirm that. That's a lot. It really stinks that Lauren is going to lose her home. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, of course. Hmm, she was kind of weirdly cagey about Lauren losing her home. Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah, of course. She was like, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so, I've heard ghosts are haunting Salem. Of course. You believe it? How could I not when I've seen them with my own eyes? Really? Can you describe what you saw? Uh, sure. It was dark, foggy. I was walking through the cemetery. Or was it the town square? I don't remember, but I do remember a ghost. No, multiple ghosts. Spirits. And did you ever see any ghosts near Hathorne House? As a matter of fact, I did. I told you that a coven of witches unleashed them on the town a few years back. They will not rest until they get their vengeance. Let me guess. You can't find proof of a living soul present at the house the night it burned. Maybe the culprit wasn't among the living? That sounds even harder to prove. <laughs> Have you like, seen my job the so restless much more souls of Salem, Nancy? I've seen something, but I'm not willing to just believe it's real. I need more. Be careful. Okay. They'll still find you whether you believe in them or not. You might want to avoid the cemetery. <laughs> I'm absolutely not. I'm going right. there two minutes from now. Mm -hmm. I do think it's kind of significant. Do you remember when we were in the woods going to Hathorne House and Nancy saw, and also we saw, women hanging from the trees? Mm -hmm. But Nancy thought that women were burned at the stake. So if it were like a vision that she had conjured up due to like anxiety or whatever, she Versus wouldn't. She would have it thought have, it was them. She would have seen women burning. Burning, yeah, because she didn't know they were hung in in in. Right, she Salem. She was, yeah. So I think that's significant. That is significant. I don't know how or why, but I think it's significant. It's significant because they're real ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's significant because it's a ghost. Mm -hmm. Three days ago, were you doing any witch tours? Three days ago? No, I was not. Okay. You remember what you were doing? Actually, I had won a spa holiday at the Wayfarer Inn over in Marblehead. It was amazing. They used those glass cup things on my back. It was wicked crazy. <laughs> so Boston. Oh. <laughs> so Massachusetts. Do you have any receipts or... It was all expenses paid. And I'd show you my back, but I'm a quick healer. Interesting. Mm. Witch powers. It looks like it never happened. You know, okay, but they're making it so I obvious. I had a flyer for the spa, but I threw it away this morning. It's a bit yeah. Sorry, I know I'm not being helpful. It's okay. You are. Thanks. She's like, you are. Guilty. I feel like that whole I feel like if she were gonna lie, she would have a less stupid, stupid lie, lie than, yeah. than you know then I went to the spa. Oh, but I don't have any receipts. And I don't have a flyer and, and I don't my have back's healed. Yeah, like <laughs> that's kind of cringe. It's about you, Tegan, and Lauren when you were kids. What is? Why are you interested question. in this? We grew apart. It happens. I found an old photo from back then. It had the name Coven on it. Look. Was it the one you talk about in your show? You found this photo at Tegan's house? Yeah. I didn't peg her as sentimental. So was it the dodge. same one? <laughs> question. Well, yes. Same Coven. We heard about it as kids, I guess. We were all into history and witches. We still are. Yeah. And yet you've never made up. I don't get why you care. I don't get why you're so cagey. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery. Even if you all tell me it isn't. 
All right, so her alibi sucks. Yeah. I hate her alibi. Me and <laughs> fuck her alibi. Me and my homies oh, hate, hate her, her alibi. alibi. <laughs> I want to eat the Kringles. I know you do. <laughs> it's like I know, honey. Don't yeah, just just we we'll okay. Just this once. Do me a favor before you sit down. Oh, go get my phone. Okay. Is that in your room? It's charging. Yeah, it's. I just want to retreat your tr- t- treat. Okay. I just want to retweet your treat. You just want to retweet my treat? Yeah. Oh, I can't retweet your treat because you're private. Oh, well, let me get off private real quick. It's always, um, very That's scary. Okay because we're pretty. <laughs> it's true. We're cute. Okay. My tweets are unprotected. They're just floating out in the ether. God, anyone could see you. Anyone could see them. I feel naked. You are naked. Oh, I hate it. Alright, you got it? Yeah. Back on private. Back on private.